Hi guys, so I already finished The Maze Runner. It took me all of a day and a half to read this book. I got so into it. I know all my glitterchers, like if I'm doing a glitterchur on a book, it's because I liked the book enough that I really want to talk about it and I really liked it. And I have a lot of glitterchurs where I'm like, I was so sucked into that book and I loved it so much. This book though, like I could not put down until I finished it. For a day and a half, I was no good. It was basically a wonderful and a terrible thing at the same time because it was wonderful because I was so just in love with the story and so into it and I felt like I was in the book but it was terrible because basically my life came to a standpoint for an entire day and a half I didn't do anything but read I was like just no good to the entire world. This is very similar to The Hunger Games. It's basically the same type of story. So if you really like The Hunger Games series and you're kind of wanting another book that's similar to it, I definitely think if you liked that series, you will like this one as much, if not a little bit more. I think that I was more sucked into this book than I was the first Hunger Games book while I was reading it. But looking back on it, I feel like they're pretty even stories. Like I really, really like The Hunger Games book as well. So. I don't know, but I want to reread that one. If you guys have watched my Glitterature haul, I picked it up because I want to reread it because I read it really, really fast, even though I read this one really fast too. This one's still really fresh in my mind and I just really liked it. So without giving any spoilers, I'm just going to tell you the basic premise of this book so that if you, if it sounds like something you want to read, you can go pick it up and read it. I really, really liked it. It's basically about this boy, at the very beginning of the book, the lead person, Thomas, wakes up in an abandoned elevator by himself and he has no memories at all of life before this elevator that he's in. And he has like some memories, but they're not specific. So like he remembers what a school is and what you know, an ocean is, but he doesn't have any memories like associated with those things. He doesn't remember any people or faces or anything about himself other than his name. He knows his name is Thomas. When the elevator doors open, he finds himself in this huge field with like 50 boys that are all between the ages of like 12 and 18. And he has no idea where he is or who these boys are. And the first couple chapters actually were a little difficult for me to get into because the boys have their own dialect. So they use a lot of words that aren't actual words. They're just made up for this book. And it kind of, it's like every other word is a word that isn't English. And so it's kind of hard to learn it at first, but by the end of the book, you're like such a pro on their dialect. It's not even that difficult, but it kind of took me a little bit. So if you read the first chapter and you're still not into it, give it a chance. Cause I got into this really, really quickly. So basically he finds himself in this big field and all these boys just like live in this field. They have like a little home but they all sleep outside and it's it's kind of weird. And there are these huge walls all the way around the field with like big doors that close every night locking them in. So basically like he doesn't know if it's a prison. He doesn't really know what it is. He doesn't have any memories. And outside the walls there is a huge maze that goes on for miles and miles and miles and surrounds the entire um, field this huge maze that seems to go to nowhere. Like it just, no one can ever find a path out and the walls change in the maze every night. So there's really not a way out. And every day, a group of runners run through the maze trying to like map it out and trying to find a way for them to escape. But then every night they have to come back because the doors close and these really scary monsters called the Grievers like stalk the maze at night. So they have to come back in every night to the glade, which is the big field to sleep because these huge scary monsters that are like half animal, half machine, they have like saws for arms and like it's like really, they make it sound really scary and they can sting you and they can eat you and they can like chop you up with their saws. It's just really dramatic. Um, so it's basically about these boys. They have no memories. They have no idea why they're there and they have no way to escape. They're basically like rats in a lab. And there are these little things called beetle blades that spy on them. So it's very similar to the Hunger Games. Like they have people watching them. And I got the sense when I was reading it that they were like test rats in a maze, like trying to figure out what the human brain is capable of and what they can figure out. Like that's kind of what I got. By the end of the book, it turns out to be something completely different. I'm not going to spoil it, but it was a great book. And I cannot wait to pick up the sequel called The Scorch Trials, which is already out. And I'm probably going to go get that before I read all my other books, which I told you guys I wouldn't do that in my haul. I was like, I really hope I can read these four books before buying more, but I need to go get the sequel because I, I just want to read it right now. And he has a third book. The author has a third book coming out in a couple of weeks. He tweeted me. I tweeted about this book and the author tweeted me back, which was kind of funny because I have no affiliation with the author. I bought this on my own, but, um, 
the third book is coming out in a couple of weeks so that's going to be really exciting too and when that book comes out i'll do another little haul probably because i'll probably pick up a couple more books but overall best book i've read in a while i highly recommend it especially if you're a hunger games fan if you like that type of book oh my gosh there was a huge crash downstairs we have a lot of people in the apartment right now trying to get our downstairs um, put together like we're getting a chandelier hung and stuff. Anyway, if you've read this book Let me know in a comment below what you thought about it or if you want to read the book or whatever Leave your comment and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye